Monkey is red, don't go! Oh no. Don't worry, nothing happened to that donkey. Coming from driving in Spain without a hitch a week earlier, we thought, yeah, how hard could it be? Driving Morocco would be a piece of cake, right? Wrong. We picked up a Jeep at Fess Airport. Yes, specifically a Jeep. Because, you know, we thought we might have to drive over a uh, pretty rough terrain, which we did. So that didn't turn out to be a bad decision. Most of the time, the roads are fine. On our first day, we intended to drive to beautiful Chef Chong. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a four hours drive from Fez. And about two hours into the drive, a police came running waving at me to stop. I went down my window. Hello, officer. Hey, you don't speak French? Um, no, I don't. It's English only. Can I have your license and your car registration, please? Is everything okay? Are you aware that you didn't stop at the stop sign? Oh, there was a stop sign? Okay. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't understand the, the sign. Step out of your vehicle and follow me. Okay. I'm going to write you a fine for 400 dirhams as it is the first class offense in Morocco. Oh, you can't let me go for first offense? No. Here you go, here's the uh, 400 dirham. Hmm. I'll let you go this time with a 200 dirham fine, and you won't go on record. Oh, okay. Thank you. Please respect the rules of Morocco and have a nice day. Great. That was a slap on the wrist. I just got a 50% discount. I'll be careful and watch out for those stop signs and I'll be fine. Off we went to Chef Chon, and what we saw was a beautiful city. Very Instagrammable. Very blue. Nice swimming pool. And by the end of the day, we almost forgot about the incident with the police. On the drive home, we thought, we'll be fine. And about two hours later... Oh, what? Did I miss another stop sign? Okay, is uh, everything okay? Well, you were speeding and didn't slow down to 60. What? Really? Oh, come on, there were barely any cars on the road. Step out of the vehicle and follow me. Uh. Right, for this offense, you need to pay 400 dirham. Really? If I give you 200 dirham, would you let me go? <laughs> Please respect the rules of Morocco and have a nice day. Great. That's two fines in a single day. Alright, from now on, as long as I watch out for those stop signs and make sure I drive exactly what the speed sign says, I'll be fine. Next up, Ifran. Supposed to be the Switzerland of Morocco. Beautiful buildings. And for a second, the place really does resemble Switzerland. Great place for photos, lovely food. And we thought we'd drive home with a happy smile on our face. Oh, what? What did I do wrong this time? You crossed the white line to overtake another vehicle. Really? But it was a very very straight road and I was I was overtaking a tractor going 10 kilometers per hour step out of vehicle and follow me oh for this offense yes yes 400 dirham correct look I didn't bring a whole lot of cash and I keep giving 400 dirham I don't have enough cash for dinner can I give you a hundred dirham if you don't pay we'll confiscate your license can you please let me go with a hundred dirham Okay, please respect the rules of Morocco and have a nice day. For the rest of the trip, I made sure I stop at every single stop sign, drive at exactly what speed the sign says, and don't ever try to overtake any vehicle again. And no police bothered me at least until the end of our trip in Morocco. Look, don't let my experience deter you. Despite all that, 
we still had a great time in Morocco. In Fez, we got to visit the Medina with its very impressive tannery, where most of Morocco's handmade leather come from. Oh my God. <laughs> we checked out the first university in the world, started by a woman. We had some amazing tagine. We stayed in a wonderful Riyadh, which is a quintessential experience coming to Morocco. We experienced some local culture. Yes, we were pestered by street vendors constantly asking us to buy something, but at no point did we feel unsafe. Yes, you will feel like you're ripped off, but to put things in perspective, it is a lot more affordable even if you were ripped off. So, if you're going to Morocco, just be prepared and you'll love it there.